Hello my friend and welcome to the study. Today we're going to look at a globe from 1961. This is a National Geographic globe from the United States, compiled and drawn in the Cartographic Division of the National Geographic Society, Washington, D.C. Melville Bell Grosvenor, Editor James Darley, Chief Cartographer Ralph McAllier, Assistant Chief Cartographer Wellman Chamberlain, Cartographic Engineer It is a free standing globe as you can see. It has a plastic stand. And here you can see not only the latitude in degrees, but the time. As well as statute miles in thousands. There is new. You can see there. And the bottom has the National Geographic symbol on it. Also, to go on top of the globe is. South America and the equator, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, British Guiana, Port of Spain in Trinidad, and the Galapagos Islands. Brazil, Argentina, Palmer Peninsula. 
Peninsula. And there's Antarctica. I'm afraid the poles have seen a bit of battering because the stand does have an indent or a protruding point that tends to dent the globe. If you're not careful, here at the pole, we have seismic soundings in Murray Birdland disclose a large channel believed to connect Ross and Bellingshausen seas, dividing the Antarctic continent. Recent discoveries push the area of Filchner Ice Shelf much farther inland than formerly charted. South Pole 9,200 feet above sea level, thickness of ice, 8,300 feet. And there's the Ross Sea and the Ross Ice Shelf, which we know is shrinking. Here we have the South American explorers who reached the South Pole, Amundsen, 1911. Scott, 1912, and Admiral Byrd, 1929. Going across the North Atlantic, there are the Azores, Greenland, Iceland, and Europe, as it was in 1961. Scandinavia, Denmark, United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Germany, the Federal Republic, and the Eastern Zone, or what was then the Democratic Republic of Germany, the GDR, Austria, and Yugoslavia, now Serbia, Croatia, Macedonia, oh, and then we've got Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Cyprus, Turkey. Israel, Jordan, Suez, Sinai, the United Arab Republic. Egypt. So a lot of things have changed in 60 years. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, Kazakh, Mongolian Republic, Ukraine, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, not to forget Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And into Asia, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and East Pakistan, Bhutan, Burma, Thailand, or Siam, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Malaya, Sumatra, Sarawak, North Borneo, Philippines, Bhutan, Nepal, Kashmir, Tajik, Kyrgyzstan, Xinjiang, and China. Not to forget the subcontinent India and 
Ceylon, now Sri Lanka. East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. Australia and the vast Indian Ocean with some islands held by France and some by Britain. So here we have Africa. West Africa, South Africa, Mozambique, Federation of Rhodesia, Bakunan Land, Republic of the Congo, Tanganyika, Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda, Somali Republic, Ethiopia, and French Somaliland. And up here, the Aden Protectorate and Yemen. Central African Republic, Sudan. Australia and across the Tasman Sea to New Zealand, up the date line of the South Pacific, we have Fijian Islands, the New Hebrides, New Caledonia, and all of these Solomon Islands. Gilbert Islands, the Marshall Islands, the Carolines make up Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean of the earth. Siberia and Alaska at the very top we have the North Pole again with the explorers who reached it we have Perry in 1909 Bird 1926 with the US 
versus Nautilus. Berenssee, West Spitzbergen, Greenland and Iceland, Norwegian Sea. Where the Northwest Passage is, all of the ice is melting, the polar bear region, Beaufort Sea, the North Canadian Basin, and all of the depths that have been charted, and the East Siberian Sea, the Bering Sea, and the Aleutian Islands. Around the Pacific Ring of Fire, seismic, plate tectonic activity. Midway Islands, and there's Hawaii. And the little atolls, there's Wake there. And Dongi, and the Marshall Islands. Gilbert's. Phoenix Islands, Ellis Islands, Tokelau Union Group, Samoa, and the Tuamotu Archipelago, where all of the black pearls are cultivated in the Society Islands of Tahiti, and the Cook Islands and Rarotonga. reefs, and the vast South Pacific, East Island, Galapagos, Guatemala Basin, and there's Billy's. Guadalupe and Baja California. And the North Atlantic, the Sargasso Sea, and the North American Basin. And here you can see the currents the red are the warm currents, the Gulf Stream, and the blue are the cold currents coming down from the Labrador Basin. The North Atlantic Current, the Canary Basin, the North Equatorial Current, the Equatorial Counter Current, the South Equatorial Current, the Brazil Current, the Argentine Basin, you can see the currents shifting, coming up this way, going counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. West Wind Drift and the Valdivia Basin, the Indian Antarctic Basin, Central Indian Rise, so it's almost the path of the subcontinent as it collided into the continent of Asia. Canals are marked as well. Here you can see the Canal du Midi that goes from the Bay of Biscay to the Mediterranean. Rivers as well. The Nile. The Rhine and the Danube. The Vol.
the Indus, the Euphrates and Tigris, the Loire and the Seine and of course the Thames. sparsely populated Himalayas and Gobi Desert in Xinjiang vast stretches of Asia that the Silk Road skirted and the caravans and there is the Great Wall of China cities of Europe, to the United States and Mexico, to see a polar bear in Canada, I hope this sends you on on a dream. yourself. Be kind to others. <laughs>